Excuse me. My mother was just calling me. She's getting me McDonald's. <laughs> For lunch. Okay, hold on. Let me just increase the volume a bit. Come on, move fast, Edo Guard. Don't let the heavy armor just get onto you. Come at me, you Adrestian whelps. Why does why does he still have an Adrestian Empire symbol even though he's not even with us anymore? Yeah, the other way you disactivated the control so spike trap won't be a problem anymore. Help the stutter of you. Why are you asking for help now? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop calling us whelps, you whelp. Okay. So he said. You'll die as well, Count Row. What? Open those gates now! Open the gate to me, Shrek! Open the door! Open this door, Dimitri! There you go. Finally, you will open the gates. Even though, for some reason, those are still black. Clean fight. Okay. Time must have kept busy to make such strides in two short years. And I can say the same to you. Now let's get this over with. I'll take over. Tapping your eyes is truer than you wish. Uh huh. Yeah, you can probably break this day whenever it come, Ash. Okay. He's still fighting. Adel got a constant Take care of Dimitri. <laughs> Why is that kind of funny? I'm like, he said, like, if we don't retake it, no, we have to retake it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't laugh right now, but it was kind of funny. Okay, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna get this green thing. Okay, there's Ingrid. Okay, now we get to defeat Ingrid. Of the 
No, 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 no. Okay, Hunter, heal yourself. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna make those sounds because it's just super sad. Unfortunately, Ingrid did not return to her friends at all. She died protecting the king and all her allies. Uh, I'm sorry, Ingrid. See you in, see you in Asher Gleam. She laid down her life to protect Dimitri. Look, even Monica is feeling sad. Yet sadly, despite our best efforts, Count Roe and two men. Even Edelgard is sad. This is most painful indeed. Yeah, it's really painful. And you fucking Edelgard haters think she has no feelings. She does have feelings. Stupid heads. And obviously Dimitri's very sad because You must hurry, your majesty. Ingrid is dead. I know. I know. Forgive me, Ingrid. It saddens me beyond measure to leave you here. The blame is mine, your majesty. I should have taken guard of the rear. Then I would only be mourning your death instead. The decision was mine, as is the failure. It's super fretting because of the rain. Rests on my shoulders. Your Majesty, please. She deserves so much happiness. Oh, this song again. Even after losing her betrothed, she betrothed. That's Glenn, Felix's brother. Only to face the agony of death once more. Do -do -do -do. It should have been me who died. No, Dimitri, don't say that. To Count Galatea. To Glenn, please don't torment yourself. Ingrid chose to be there. That's that's probably Ingrid's lance, right? So rest now. I will Say this is not play with the I don't even want her. By your valiant efforts, Orion Road has held strong. I thank you, one and all. Ah, I hardly broke a sweat. Those kingdom soldiers were nothing. Wait, if they were nothing, then why was I having so much trouble? I thought I was surely off to my death when Count Roe turned on us. I bet this dialogue will be different if you do reach Count Roe and Gwendol first. A fine job of pulling through. Truly, that dumb luck of yours is awe-inspiring. <laughs> I can't believe you kill Ingrid. Oh, Hubert. And I must agree with Dorothea in this one, actually. Because I also She's like Ingrid. She's formidable commander, Dorothea. We had no choice if we hoped to claim victory. I know that. You think I don't know that? Right now, we need to discuss our next move. I'm sending the main body of our army back to Enbar. They'll remain in the capital until they recuperate from this latest string of battles. And until we've had time to retool our strategy. We hold Arian Road and the Western Church in the west. The Great Bridge of Murden to the east and Garrett Mark between them. We'll treat all three as key positions and endeavor to hold our lines there. After we regroup, we'll determine a proper time to resume our advance. It vexes me to say this, but I have been short-sighted. We are nowhere near achieving our goals in the Alliance or the Kingdom. My command has been riddled with errors, and for that, I apologize. Oh? And where exactly is all of this coming from? You usually exude confidence. From where I stand, we have come a great distance with minimal casualties. Casualties. <laughs> we should be 
easily able to make up for it. I'm personally happy I had the chance to see her majesty. <laughs> what is blushing? Even if just this once. <laughs> oh, reassuring her with predictable responses, are we? Well, sorry. For once, I'm not sleepy at all. Yeah, that's good, nice Linhart. That response still registers way up there on the Lin scale. <laughs> the Lin scale. I'm using the extra time to make improvements, so I can offer more usefulness in future battles. <laughs> I'm lucky to be surrounded by such consistent Yeah, <laughs> you're so lucky. How about me? Do I count as consistent? I can always <laughs> count on you to be consistent. <laughs> Ursa, four you points go up! Any way you like. <laughs> I seriously like Edelgard. <laughs> so, we're finally going back to the capital. Feels like it's been ages. Couldn't come at a better time, either. My bones could use the rest after all the battles. Yeah, you can get a rest, my I wholeheartedly agree. The respite will help us prepare to face the Ashen Demon. Shut up about that story. Uh, yeah, about that. I've been giving it some thought, and I don't think we Yeah, need I don't think we need to obsess over that anymore. But what about Captain Burling and your old allies? The ones who were brutally slaughtered, remember? You said avenging them was your dream. And think about how much hardship the Ashen Demon has put you through since you joined the Empire. Don't get me wrong, I'd still love to prove I'm the better fighter. But imagine if we got someone like that on our side. We'd be unstoppable. Yeah. So I put my wants aside and put an end to this war. For my yes. Friends. Unless you think that's a mistake. The Ashen Demon's mercenaries have fought for both the Kingdom and the Alliance. They don't have a cause, and they don't care who comes out on top in the end. It's all about who can toss them the most coin. And now that the dust has settled a bit, we've got a chance to lure them over ourselves. And here I thought you were intelligent. Think about it. Their allegiances have changed, yes. But no matter their client, they've always been fighting the Empire. Why would they join us now? They would join us now. For that matter, what makes you think our soldiers would want to fight alongside a person who's murdered hundreds of their comrades? As if nobody's ever flipped sides before. Come on. Yes, but unlike the Ashen Demon, they're not single-handedly responsible for so much killing. Uh, hey, Arval? Yes? Why is it so important to you that the demon dies? Because I care about you, of course. I mean, I think that's the reason. Arval, out with it. I suppose it just feels like our destiny. Like it's something we're meant to do. Okay, that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching, and see you guys in the next episode. Bye.